Hello candidates, welcome to another session of science. Uh, last time we talked about the types of pulleys and I think you still remember those types. So this time round we are going to scrutinize them and we find out about each one of them. So uh, to begin with we have the single fixed pulley. So this is the type of pulley that is made up of a fixed block and a rotating wheel. This is the type of pulley that is made up of a fixed block and a rotating wheel. So this one means that the block is fixed. Something that is fixed is stationary. It does not move. So it is only the wheel that will rotate. Uh, when using this pulley, the effort applied is equal to the load. And because of this, uh, you'll find that its mechanical advantage is 1. So if they ask you why the mechanical advantage of a fixed pulley, a single fixed pulley is 1, you simply say the effort is equal to the load or the effort force is equal to the load. Then uh, this pulley simplifies work in these ways. It changes the direction of force. As we shall be seeing, as the, if the, the effort moves down, the load will be moving up, as we shall see in the illustration. Then uh, the advantage of this pulley system is that uh, work is done faster as compared to these other pulley systems. So if you take a close look at the illustration, this is the block that we are talking about. This is the block. As you can see, it is fixed in a position. This is the fulcrum or the pivot. And this is the wheel, the rotating wheel. So this block remains fixed as the wheel moves around and as the rope uh, moves around the wheel. So we have the load here and then we have the effort force. So it, we've said that one of the ways this machine simplifies work is that it changes the direction of force. So as you can see, as the load, as the effort goes down, the load will come up. So if they ask you to use an arrow to indicate the direction of load force and effort force, you can simply put your effort uh, pointing downwards and then the load will go up. So uh, looking back at its mechanical advantage, it is very important for you to note that the mechanical advantage of a single fixed pulley is one. This will help us in some of the calculations we shall be doing. Taking an example of this illustration, we can say, we can set a question and we say, uh, looking at this diagram, uh, calculate the effort force or the effort needed to overcome this load. So what we need to do is to first state the mechanical advantage. Mechanical advantage is equal to uh, load out of effort. I hope you still remember that formula. So since we know that the mechanical advantage of a single fixed pulley is 1, we shall substitute and we put 1 is equal to the load, which is 50 newtons. 50 newtons divided by the effort which we are looking for. So we don't have the effort force right here. So what we can do uh, is to make the effort the subject of the formula. We just multiply by effort this side and whatever we do this side is what we do even this side. So that this effort crosses out with that one and then we remain with effort times one which is effort and this will be equal to 50 newtons. Just like we've said that the load force is always equal to the effort force. This is why the mechanical advantage of a, a single uh, fixed pulley is 1. So here we can find the effort force. So when given the effort force, still we can use the same formula and we find the load force looking at this diagram. But at times they may not draw the diagram for you. Uh, for example, here we have number 2 that states... Calculate 
the effort needed by a man to lift a load of 200 kilograms. So we shall simply state our formula and we say mechanical advantage is equal to 1. Sorry, mechanical advantage is equal to load out of effort. So the mechanical advantage which is 1 is equal to load. According to our question, we have load as 200 kilograms out of the effort uh, which we are looking for. So we shall simply multiply by effort this side and we multiply by effort this side. So that this effort and this one will cross out. Effort times 1 is the same as effort. It will be equal to 200 kilograms. So as you can see in the first two examples, we have looked for the effort right here and even this one. So at times you can be asked to find the load force just like we have it here in example number three. They are saying calculate the load carried by a man using the effort of 25 kilograms using a single fixed pulley. So in this case, they always have uh, to be specific about the type of pulley you're using because different pulleys have different mechanical advantage. So we shall say mechanical advantage is equal to load out of effort, our formula. So this mechanical advantage, we already know is one, and this is equal to the load out of the effort, which is 25 uh, kilograms, according to our question. And then we shall simply multiply by 25 kilograms this side, and then by 25 kilograms this side. So that this 25 and this one will cross out. We remain with 25 kilograms times 1. This will be equal to 25 kilograms will be equal to load. So we can simply interchange and we say load is equal to 25 kilograms. And this brings us uh, to the end of this session. I hope you have learned how to calculate the load force and the effort force uh, on a single fixed pulley using its mechanical advantage. Please take note of the mechanical advantage of this pulley because it is the one that we always use to do any calculation that comes on a single fixed pulley. Thank you for being part of this session. Please uh, download the activity that will be attached to this clip and do it on addition to what you have in the workbooks.